Don't you just love political elections? Yeah, me neither. There may be only one thing that all candidates throughout history have in common. Okay, maybe two if you count blue suits and more recently, pants suits. Anyway, here at the Henry Ford, there's a collection of election memorabilia that might actually be the sharpest parts of some campaigns. Artifacts like these presidential limousines at the Henry Ford bring to life portions of U.S. presidential history. But there are countless more artifacts at the museum that tell tales of the American political process. Donna Braden is curator of public life at the Henry Ford. She showed me some of the items in the archives here. Look at all this campaign history. This is the earliest item we have here on the table. It's from the 1868. Ulysses S. Grant, Ulysses S. Grant campaign. This is an oil cloth cape. Worn during torchlight parades, the oil cloth capes would protect parade goers from hot oil that would drip from the torch lights. Capes, even parasols, were used to show political preferences. But it's the basic button that really stuck. And so buttons started when? 1896. 1896 is the election of William McKinley. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and William Jennings Bryan. Right, William Jennings Bryan lost. The Calvin Coolidge campaign modified the button for the 1924 election. It's a radiator cap for a car. <sighs> so, Very you know, cool. radiators would get hot and overheat. And so a big slogan for Calvin Coolidge was keep cool with Coolidge. With Coolidge. Most of these buttons, I can see, have very clear messages in, where you don't have to have any knowledge of the issues. I like Ike. Right. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Who doesn't like saying, I like Ike? Right. Even if you're an Adlai Stevenson person, it's fun to say, I like Ike. Fortunately, Dwight D. Eisenhower had a nickname of Ike. Sometimes, no words were needed. Imagery alone could do the talking. Example, this mug, a simple message from Jimmy Carter's campaign, playing on his peanut farming background and his trademark toothy grin. And even amidst the vast collection of artifacts here, it's hard not to come up with a personal favorite. Mine depicted President Teddy Roosevelt. I have to say, not to get too political here, my favorite president, an asthmatic child who grew up to be our most robust president, Teddy Roosevelt. And my favorite object on the whole table. This is a campaign bandana? Yes, and bandanas go way back, actually, in political campaigning. Filled with symbolism, from the hat to the cattle brand initials, everything in this campaign artifact seems to have meaning. That is a symbol, actually, that relates to a slogan that Teddy Roosevelt had in 1912 when he said he was throwing his hat in the ring. It's a unique campaign item that reminds you of his bravery and his leadership. Right. And like this symbolic bandana, all the items here dot the historic trail of American boating, culture, and heritage. <laughs>